In the last session, we looked into a very basic mediation model using Smart PLS4. In this session, we are going to look into a very basic moderation model in Smart PLS4. Now, the first thing I need to remove this and CC is my independent variable, OP is my dependent variable and I'm going to add a moderator that is role ambiguity. But before I go on in and discuss how to perform moderation analysis using Smart PLS 4, let's look at some theoretical concepts with respect to moderation analysis. Introduction Moderation describes a situation in which the relationship between two constructs is not constant but is actually dependent on the values of a third variable that we refer to as a moderating variable. Now this moderating variable changes the strength or even the direction of relationship between the two constructs in a model. That is, it may strengthen, it may weaken the relationship between two constructs in a study. Now for example, Research has shown the relationship between culture and organizational performance differs as a function of role ambiguity. That is, if there is high role ambiguity, the relationship between collaborative culture, that is the example variable for this particular lecture, and organizational performance, it actually weakens. However, at low role ambiguity, this particular relationship is further strengthened. Moderating relationships are hypothesized a priori by the researcher. The testing of moderating relationship depends on whether the researcher hypothesizes whether one specific model relationship or whether all model relationship depend on the value of the moderator. Now the test that we use is dependent on whether a single relationship is being moderated or whether all the relationships in the model are moderated. Modeling moderating effects now this figure illustrates two stage approach that we are going to use for moderation analysis. This is stage one and this is stage two with the moderating effect. Now the main effect model in stage one that is the impact of moderator on the dependent variable and the impact of independent exogenous variable on the dependent variable. Now this is the relationship that is P1 is being moderated by this M moderating variable. Now, how do we model this? We model this in stage two. So your modeling of moderating effects is actually divided in stage one and stage two when you are using a two stage approach that is recommended for modeling moderating effects. Now the main effect model in stage one, this is the main effect model where we only have the IV exogenous variable, the moderating variable, and that is impacting Y2. Now both of them are exogenous variables for this endogenous variable. And we've got variable scores or now we run this to obtain the latent variable scores for Y1, Y2 and M. Now we run this model and we get our latent variable scores for these constructs. The latent variable scores of Y1 and M are then multiplied like this and we get a single item that is used to measure the moderating or interaction effect or interaction term. The latent variables Y1, Y2 and M are each measured with a single item of the latent variable scores from stage one. Now in stage two, all these are measured using a single item. And what is the single item? This is the latent variable score that we got from stage one. Now it is important to note that the limitations identified for single item scale do not apply here because we got these latent variable scores from these multiple items from stage one. As normal, the first step is to assess the measurement model that we have already already discussed that you do your measurement model assessment. When assessing the measurement model, there is no need to create the interaction term. Just create your interaction term effect after or for the structural model assessment. Now moving on, let's start our moderation analysis. So role ambiguity moderates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. Now since it's a moderator and it is moderating this particular relationship here, so your moderator 
will be linked to the endogenous variable in the relationship that is that it is moderating so role ambiguity moderates the relationship between cc and op so role ambiguity will be linked to op because op is the endogenous variable in that particular relationship now if we had other relationships that is like from op to another variable but if ra was moderating this relationship ra would still be linked to op because that's the endogenous variable of the relationship that ra moderates now once you have linked this how do we create moderating effect now this is where smart pls4 is slightly different because previously what we did in smart pls3 is we just simply right clicked and we added our moderating effect here it is slightly different so what you need to do is you need to bring your mouse cursor here on the latent variable that is your moderating variable and drag it and drop it onto the relationship that it moderates now this is your moderating effect now once you have added this moderating effect here this line now represents the moderating effect ra moderating the relationship between cc and op because the line from the moderating variable is pointing at this particular relationship you do not need to do anything else just go to calculate bootstrapping you're going to keep it to default path start calculation now here are our results now look at this yeah you can move it as well so this is ra is negatively moderating that is weakening or dampening the relationship between cc and op ra has got a significant impact on op but i'm not interested in the impact of ra on op rather i'm interested in assessing the moderating role of ra so even if this is significant or insignificant it doesn't matter my concern is whether ra moderates this relationship my proposed hypothesis was that yes ra negatively moderates that is weakens the relationship between cc and op is this the case yes why because look at this p value less than 0.05 and your beta negative 0.12 now if you look here at the report look at this the interaction significant t value greater than 1.96 i think i did two tailed so it is greater than 1.96 so in summary role ambiguity moderates that is negatively moderates the relationship between cc and op it weakens the relationship now this is not enough i have to look at the slope as well because my moderator is significant how do i look at the slope in order to look at the slope let's go back here go to calculate pls algorithm all checks out start report simple slope analysis and have a look at this here look at this red orange and green line here the red line represents role ambiguity at minus 1 standard deviation that is low role ambiguity look at role ambiguity at plus 1 standard deviation that is higher role ambiguity and role ambiguity at mean now which of the line is steeper now if i look here a red line has got a steeper gra gradient in comparison to the other two lines this means that at low role ambiguity the collaborative culture has got a more stronger impact on op that is at low role ambiguity if you increase collaborative culture this leads to a more stronger organizational performance now if you increase role ambiguity here the green line then even if you are increasing the collaborative culture or taking initiatives to improve collaborative culture this does not improve the organizational performance in a similar manner as that was the case with average or low role ambiguity so when we are assessing and the slope analysis we will have to look at the steepness of the gradient and based on the steepness of gradient we are going to assess our moderation analysis here red line is much steeper in comparison to the other lines now this green line here is much straight in comparison to the other two lines this means that although you are increasing your collaborative culture this is not reflecting in improved organizational performance why because your role ambiguity is increasing 
So I hope this session would have helped you understand the basic concept of moderation analysis, how to perform moderation analysis in SmartPLS4 and how to interpret the results. Thank you very much.